this time I'm going to hit record. Okay, good evening, everybody. This is a demo shoutcast of America versus Belgium. Um, it's the quarterfinals. Winner of this will face off against France, and I'm really hoping that it's going to be America, to be honest, since uh, America has beaten France uh, last year in the semifinals. Uh, no, in the quarterfinals, I should say. Um, so, uh, yeah, so winner of this goes through to the semifinals and will face off against France there. Um, but uh, could also be Belgium, of course, and if that's the case, then we're guaranteed a European team in the grand finals. Um, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's go into the game. And uh, as I mentioned before, it's a demo shoutcast, so um, that means that I can easily fast forward if necessary. Okay, I'm just going to check if I have calm camera mode set. Uh, that's what I was wondering. Okay, it is now. Um, so we find Slade, Cameras, Tarquin, Moscow Jones and Azul on Team USA. Logic, Shein, Lokati, Ake and Rocket on Team Belgium. And we will uh, expect, or at least I will expect, a lot of SR8 action here. Since, uh, well, Tarquin is uh, the master of the SR8. Just... Uh, YouTube his name, <laughs> if that's the same for uh, saying Googling his name, because you will find loads of uh, SR8 um, vids. But first damage being done by Shane, but he will take a shot uh, of uh, Slade's, <coughs> excuse me, Slade's SR8. I have to say uh, thank you very much to Rafa, as you can see here in the spectators, he is uh, our saving grace that uh, that this game is going to be shoutcasted and in comes uh, USA and they encounter Logic <laughs> who uh, completely destroys them and uh, now we're just going to wait for Tarquin to die to uh, one of these four fine Bel Belgian players <laughs> and in they come okay GG uh, or a good uh, good round I should say um, but yeah the uh, um, Let's see, only four countries uh, were European in the playoff stages. And uh, up to now, already two have been knocked out. That being UK and Germany. And the other, uh, the fourth match that uh, still needs to be shoutcasted, and I'm uh, hoping to find that demo. I've been away without leave these uh, last six days, um, but that uh, that is Argentina versus Australia, so uh, that's going to be a cracker of a match as well, or a cracking match, I should say. Once more, that Dutchism <laughs> that uh, also happened a couple of uh, days ago. Logic opening, well, actually not opening, but. Uh, Oh, nice double kill there by Logic, and in comes the push on cameras. Lokati will uh, will die to Logic, and it's Azul who will die. the The infamous French American player, but in this case, only one person has a kill on the USA. Nice hits here by Shane, and he will get the kill in the end on Tarquin. And it's uh, Camaro's last one standing, who is minus one. Let's see if he can at least uh, get, yeah, nicely done. Gets one, so uh, zero kills to him on aggregate. Three nil the score already, and uh, Belgium seem to be uh, on fire here. Oh my fucking god. Sorry about that, guys. I see that uh, the first two and a half minutes I've been uh, casting as a radio presenter. Could kill myself. <laughs> really frustrating. <laughs> uh, why do I make these stupid mistakes? Oh, well. I hope you guys can forgive me. Yeah, I know, Morgan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Oh, okay. See, that's what hap happens when you are away without leave. You Only six days is enough to forget how to shoutcast.
Ja, Shane playing sneaky, uh, sneaky peeky like. <laughs> but will be stopped instantly by Tarquin's S8. So will this be the second round for the Americans? They can definitely use one to uh, get back into the game. And it seems like the Belgians are going to uh, set up shop. But uh, Rocket is the, uh, the odd one out. Wow, Tarquin on fire here. That wasn't even Tarquin who got the kill there. Uh, or, well, it wasn't even the player who was nearest to him who got the kill. Tarquin got that second uh, SR8 shot off. Very nicely done. And 3 2 the score. This is uh, starting to look a lot more like a game. A close game, I should say. Five minutes in, and uh, the first kill. Well, cameras, it's not often that people die there over at uh, Central due to a nade. Bit uh, of a sloppy play there, and in comes the rest of the push and Tarquin. Well, he might kill some people, but you can only be so dangerous with that SR8. One shot per second and uh, a lot of uh, prepping, pre-aiming for instance. No Cathy uh, getting the better of Moscow Jones there. Cameras can't connect. We'll uh, opt for a grenade, but uh, I was about to say very unlikely, but nicely done here by Cameras. Gets two. Well, still uh, three Belgians remaining, so can he get the all kill? Very unlikely. Especially with the amount of noise he's making. Oh my goodness, that must be a little bit of ping. Uh, we'll get a third. Can he get a fourth? They know that he's down to 56%. And yeah, cameras is uh, dangerous enough to even med up back to 90. Even if you're two against one. Can cameras find an SR8? That would be nice. Rocket uh, showing himself there quite dangerously. Hmm. So Camaros is going to leave the initiative to the Belgians here. Sure. Curious. Uh, then again, <laughs> I think uh, the person who's hiding is probably the most scared cameras, but uh, fair enough. <laughs> you can always uh, try and do some intimidation in chat. <sighs> Ooh, Slade, if you were just a little bit further back, you could have gotten a torso shot off there. Oh yeah, I have a beer here. Nice. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Slade finally gets the kill on Ake there. Ake, uh, lowest scoring person on the server at the moment. But his teammates are making up for it. Nice kill here by Rocket. Will die here to Azul. Azul uh, very aggressively pushing central and will die for his efforts. Oh my god, Moscow Jones on fire. He must have heard something because he already switched to that Beretta. I love seeing the Beretta, by the way. Uh, it's, uh, especially after that hashtag ban cult <laughs> um, incident uh, during the group stages. It's nice to see some, uh, some different uh, pistols being used. Tarquin 
Still trying to get that S R eight kill off. It's the snipers on USA who have died the most, Tarquin and Slade. But I'm sure that uh, many of the rounds are also down to uh, their sacrifices and uh, dangerous play. Getting the opening kill mostly. Wow, that first shot on Rocket wasn't even in my screen. <laughs> Shayan will finish it off, good awareness there. It's a three on three right now. And the first opening shots going in favor of the Americans. Will they be pushing now? Slade gets one kill. Ooh, now all of a sudden, oh, Tarquin is coming. But Tarquin faces off against Ake, who's uh, G36. Used to be uh, a gun that was frowned upon back in the uh, good old days when uh, when we had, I don't know how many uh, tens, uh, <laughs> like 80 teams in Team Survivor, which was crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, you used to hear the noob 36, the gay 36, etc. Still, uh, still a sentiment that's being uh, used on the public servers. Tarquin not going to med his teammate up. Moscow really low and Moscow keeps on moving in. Ake and Rocket. Oh, might be coming from the flank here. Grab that nade, come on. Oh, he gets spotted. Oh, his team, he shot his teammate there. I mean, one of the Americans there shot his teammate while he was trying to engage Rocket. Rocket brings the med back. Tarquin can hear them. Tarquin takes, uh, takes a lot of damage there. Enough damage, in fact, to uh, warden a retreat. Oh. They can hear you. Oh, jeez. That's... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, well I do know. It's <laughs> that sloppy play. The Belgians once more in the lead by three. They uh, started off really strong in the first uh, three rounds. Now, after the Americans making it all square at three, they uh, are now trading again. Good awareness of Azor, or good uh, preemptive shooting or knowledge or whatever you want to, game sense. But he will bleed out here. Not enough game sense there for uh, his teammates to uh, bring him back to health. It's two against two. Moscow Jones will be hunted down here since he's only got 38. Cameras in a similar predicament. Lokati and Ake should be uh, hunting them down, but it seems like uh, they're not. Hey, Kitty Charm. Welcome to the stream. One of my subs. <laughs> one against one now. How much damage did Moscow take? Enough damage, that's one thing that's for sure. Only two shots required and Locati really uh, playing uh, to the strengths of the map. Making use of uh, every single wall. Oh, lovely. Especially that end headshot by Azel. I wonder if Azo ever thought that it was a shame that he uh, chose for Team America. I know that back in the year, years that he chose for America, he would n never have been chosen for France. But I think nowadays, um, this sounds really bad and not nice, but uh, it's true. There were more skilled players like five years ago when Azo chose for uh, um, 
for America. Anyway, um, I wonder if he... Uh, I'm sure he would have been welcome to play for Team France this year around. And maybe even got f would have gotten further. But then again, I'm sure that uh, last year's choice by beating his... Uh, his home, na or yeah, his home nation, as in he lives in France, would have uh, been really nice as well. As all last one standing now, can hear. Oh yeah, as all that's really bad map awareness. Really bad, in fact. Okay, so it seems like the Belgians are running away with it here. It is, of course. Uh, Oh no, wait a second, I was about to say it was the Belgian's home map, but it's not. That was the, what I wanted to say when I discovered, oh shit, I forgot to uh, <laughs> to switch over to the game. Nicely done there by Tarquin, takes out Logic, and did he take out? No, he didn't take out the second one there. But a good push here, should be uh, securing the second. No, it doesn't yet, Tarquin gets another kill off with the Desert Eagle. Camrose is going to hunt them down. Ake down to 11%, but they're medic medding, they're medding, and they keep on medding. So, uh, Ake gets the kill, and Tarquin is now in dire straits here. 42% will push into Ake, will get the kill as well. Rocket should be aware that Tarquin is in that vicinity. Tarquin cannot be aware though. But the initiative has to be taken by Tarquin if uh, the Americans want to get back into this game and that is a tall ask. Flick. Oh. Not even checking the corners. Well, it makes sense. It's a it's a really annoying corner, but especially when you know you're one against one and it's uh, nine to three, and now it's ten to three. That's the result of uh, not checking your corners. Good aggressive Nate, splitting up uh, the Belgian push, but uh, in comes Locati from the side to cover. Oh, lovely headshot there on Slade's uh, helmet. <laughs> Logic playing with the freaking Magnum. <laughs> that P uh, P90 with 50 uh, bullets, well suited for that situation. So it seems like Belgium will take the first round, a uh, first map here. Let's see what the uh, what the Yanks, no, I should say Americans, since uh, they are both Canadian and United Statians. <laughs> double uh, Slade gets the double kill with that uh, grenade. But still, their advantage in players is dwindling. <laughs> Locati has been spotted there. We'll push out, we'll take loads of damage as well, and Locati gets the kill. <sighs> Ooh, <laughs> that was close. So, after losing nine rounds on the trot, yeah, nine rounds on the trot, the Americans finally get another round in, but they know it's too little too late. So a little bit one-sided, I wasn't hoping for this. By the way, if any of you guys know NSTAR, he uh, has a demo that I would really like. Colombia versus uh, Argentina. I already uh, messaged him on Discord, but uh, didn't get it yet. 
Tarquin going to push really aggressively and good communication on the Belgian side secures that kill off on Tarquin. Shane coming through, uh, sen well, uh, not central, uh, whatever, side alley something, whatever, forgot the name. Camaraz here will die in uh, quick succession as well. So, 5 to 13. For those wondering when the semi-finals will be played, um, let me quickly check that for you. It is definitely this weekend. Um, so uh, on Sunday, that's tomorrow, uh, for those watching live, um, France versus Belgium will be played. Whoops. I did my utmost to not see what the result would be, but <laughs> simply by checking. <laughs> oh, lovely. Fantastic. Something tells me that I'll be cutting that out of YouTube when <laughs> people don't like spoilers. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I could be kicking myself now. Um, and the other semi-finals should already have been played, but apparently it's not. Oh, lovely shot there by Tark. Can he connect again? Oh, <laughs> wow, logic on fire. Mosca also opting for the SR8. I think he picked up Tarquin's SR8 there. Yeah, you can see his uh, G36. <laughs> we meant Abby CTF. Yeah, sure. America has uh, opted for CTF maps more than uh, European teams uh, these last two to three years. But uh, it seems like uh, We'll have a Nations Cup without bomb mode, at least up to now, and I think I've, I've only cast like two or three maps of uh, CTF, unfortunately. Nice nade. So the Belgians are playing fast and loose now, they know that they are secured in, uh, in this map. <laughs> wow, <laughs> poor guy that that was being caught by GTV. Got to love that reload sound of the SR8. That was epic. Cameras only needs to connect one more time, but it will be Shayen. So, good first map that. Let's uh, move over to Austria. Bottoms up, by the way, guys. I hope you've uh, got your beer as well. Shoutcasting this on a Saturday. Got to be a little bit in uh, inebriated. So here we go. Uh, we have uh, 20 more minutes of Austria, co of, uh, well, of this map match coming your way. Hello, Manakas. How are you doing? So no delay since this is a demo shoutcast. I really like uh, interacting with you guys through, uh, through this. Who knows, maybe if, uh, if dinner isn't ready, we could uh, <laughs> hop on to, uh, to a quick Pick up uh, game. Choose me as last. That's my hint. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you haven't uh, seen yet, uh, I would quickly like to take this opportunity to promote an initiative. Uh, let me see. Red team wins. If I can open Discord, that is. Good start here by the Belgians, securing the first round in this map as well. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> Thanks, Ruckus, <laughs> for pointing that out. As I said, I'm a little bit inebriated. <laughs> um, but uh, let me quickly share. Um, invite people. Uh, copy. No. Max number of uses 100. Expires after never. Generate new link. Copy. So, for those wondering, how can I get into Urban Terror? Um, well, first of all, install Discord. Secondly, go to this Discord link. So discord.gg et capital G capital H Q U five. Um, and uh, there is a pickup game bot there. Um, it's a great way if you want to uh, start playing a little bit more seriously uh, through uh, uh, after you've uh, played on some public servers and you want to, uh, well, maybe not join a clan, that might be a little bit too much uh, seriousness, but the pickup uh, game um, Discord is really good. Uh, you can play 1v1s, 2v2s, 5v5s, something like that, CTF, TS, whatever you, uh, you prefer. Just uh, type exclamation mark join if I'm not mistaken uh, and then uh, you can enjoy some competitive urban terror without all of the um, yeah without all of the obligations to uh, join a clan maybe pay for a first server can't imagine that uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah that, that sort of stuff gosh I really feel old used to be that we actually were asked to play uh, pay for a server and that sort of shit yep they simply end up recruiting the guy who actually owns the server and doesn't mind <laughs> playing together with you for uh, for free still have to say thanks so much to nvb uh, for uh, for being that person for me nvb agbd uh I'm sure that uh, some other people also uh, had some servers for clans that I joined, but uh, yeah, I can't say how much I appreciate them guys. I'm sure that uh, they'll never hear this on uh, on stream, but uh, yeah. Hashtag tank server donators. <laughs> Okay, back to the game now, since I haven't really been shoutcasting this. Um, the Belgians uh, still in the lead, but the Americans keeping in contention. And <laughs> the Magnum only uh, one hit there, by logic. Still has two rounds in the chamber. But Azel will be taken down by Shein. 4-2, to two, the lead starting to build for the Belgians. Tarquin top fragging, so uh, would really like to see it from his perspective as the uh, opening SR8 shots. Good aggressive push here by Moscow, but uh, has to fall back. In fact, got uh, engaged by Shein. Did not end well for uh, for Shein there. Good job by Ryan. He will die here. Oh wait a second, Ryan uh, is playing now for. Slade, I think. Yep. Slade was uh, subbed out. Oh, lovely slide there by Shay and Tarquin could actually hear him. Would have given him uh, enough of a head start if there wasn't a freaking grenade in his hand that uh, ended up uh, at his uh, at uh, Tarquin's head. Lovely uh, job there. Camrose is going to uh, back Ryan up, but unfortunately too little too late. Ryan was too low. And Belgian, Belgium back in the game. Oh, well, not back in the game. Back in the lead and a thorough lead at that. 6-2 to two here. I don't think that the Americans have led once in this uh, match.
And it doesn't look like this is going to be the round for the comeback of the century. Two against five. Locati killing off Tarquin. And the timeout here being called, which is uh, a good choice, I would say. Flawless victory. Let's uh, time scale 10. Oh, I wish I had this in real life. Not just for shoutcasting live Urban Terror games, just in real life. Work? Okay, time scale 100. <laughs> All of the pleasurable stuff in life, time scale 0 0.1. <laughs> Sleep, time scale 100,000. <laughs> no, actually, I'm enjoying sleep much too much. <laughs> so, the Belgians are on a rampage here on Austria. I can't see the Americans coming back in here. Only six minutes played, and the lead already, well, starting to uh, become quote unquote insurmountable. Crouching Tiger Hidden Shein. Did they actually fix that you can't skip on those uh, doors on the inside of Central? I remember one of the earliest Nations Cups that I shoutcasted where uh, Vukula actually... No, it wasn't Vukula, what the hell. Uh, Ryujin actually did that and completely slaughtered the opponent's team. thought that Shane was actually an American. Bad use of the mini-map, but uh, 9 to 3 to score. Oh, we have smoke coming out. I wonder... That must be Team America. Ryan is uh, going to die here, and it's double figures for the Belgians. Seven rounds the difference now. Seems like the smoke is from the Belgians, in fact. But Ryan making the most of it. Well, at least it's not a flawless victory, I should say. That's two. Two and a half. <laughs> Three. Nicely done, Ryan, but uh, paid for that uh, last action with his life. Yeah, that would have been awesome. I agree, Tinker. <laughs> You're all captured it all. <laughs> captured it all. Might have been uh, an American smoke there. I saw it uh, fly in from uh, from the American side of the map. Uh, 
halfway points getting closer and closer and the score just keeps being worse and worse for the Americans. It, it also feels like they have given given up kind of. But a good aggressive push here might uh, tip it in their favor. They got the first two kills already. In comes uh, the Americans from behind. At least I could hear some... Yeah, there we go. Cameras is going to finish off Lucati. So, 12 to 5. Can't be thinking of a comeback just yet. But uh, maybe they can string a couple of rounds back to back here. That would be nice. Oh, not like that. Cameras takes tons of damage, but Moscow will uh, keep the wall. And together with Camaros, seems that they will secure the wall, in fact. And it's only Shane remaining, so that would be two rounds in a row. And a flawless at that. Once more, how cool would it be if that flawless would just add an, an extra point? Just to keep it a little bit more interesting. Maybe even change the way the game gets played a little bit. That you, I don't know... I can really imagine that that would change the way the game gets played. Just, just an option, not, uh, not uh, an obligation. Just a, just a server config thingy. Would be cool for Urban Terror Five. <laughs> Don't uh, expect that it will be in Urban Terror Four, though. But maybe, I don't know, maybe one of the devs is listening. I can't imagine, but... Uh, Income the American smoke grenades again. Ah, you, so you, you it wasn't fixed. Chain uh, is still able to uh, get up there. So, type 1 if you think it's a good idea to have an additional point with a flawless victory, or 2 when you think it's a bad idea. I'm just curious. <laughs> just wondering if I'm the, the mad person here. In the meantime, I'll uh, shoutcast uh, the game again. Ryan versus Lokati. And they both have approximately the same amount of health. Oh, Thinker, you don't think it's a good idea? Okay, that's a shame. Then again, maybe this wasn't really the best... Nicely done there by Lokati. Best time to uh, to start this poll with only 10 people in stream. But uh, I'll, I'll throw in my one. <laughs> so it's at least a level. <laughs> And for the people watching this on YouTube, I'm also really curious as what you would think. So just simply put in a comment, one or two. I think that would be uh, enough to uh, to get a, a bit of an idea uh, if uh, if the urban terror community. I mean, th this is not about the option. I think that the option would actually be a really easy to implement for Frozen Sand. It's simply, would you like it in competitive play? So you can still change your vote. Uh, uh, the people who already voted just now. 
if you think uh, it's it's not nice to have uh, si simply the uh, the option, then. Uh, but I, I'm just curious. Would you really like it in competitive play? In the meantime, though, the uh, Americans are well still getting closer and closer. The difference now back to five. It was seven at a certain time, but uh, well, they have to win a couple of rounds here, or. They uh, they are certainly out of the quarterfinals, or actually out of the Nations Cup at that. Okay, I'll remove the pole right now, and uh, oh guys, just uh, give me your opinions in YouTube. I'm really curious. Six minutes back in the game, and uh, we uh, see that the Americans are. Clawing their claw, uh, claw, claw, ah, Jesus Christ, English marble mouth and alcohol clawing their way back into the game. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. Oh, Rocket unfortunately couldn't connect uh, enough there on Ryan and uh, will die for his effort. So uh, all of a sudden it's back to three rounds the difference and uh, well, kind of a squeaky bum time uh, period for the Belgians here. They have to uh, retake the initiative and good job by getting the first two kills here. Shane will get at least, oh, lovely Tarquin. Down to 33% though, versus Rocket. Okay. I'm astounded. Tarquin is still the god of the SR8. With 4% securing that third kill, if it wasn't his fourth kill there. And only two rounds the difference now for the Americans versus Belgium. And we have uh, four and a half minutes remaining here. So anything still possible after leading by seven. The Belgians seem to be giving it out of hand here. Good kill here by Cameras. He will need a little bit of mid, but it's only Shea in here. We're going to be uh, all square if this continues. Oh, Azo couldn't uh, med Tarquin back, and I don't think that it would have made a lot of difference, to be honest. He would have died there quite soon by that uh, small push. But Shane has 100% here. Is Azo really still alive? Nice nade. Perfect nade, straight at the face of Azel, and cameras will die here by Shein. Shein on fire, as you can see uh, if you look at the scores as well. 31 kills, 19 deaths. He's actually just taking his team for a stroll here. The rest are not playing that well. Um, Tarquin as well for uh, for USA, but not as good as, uh, as Shein. With three minutes remaining, two rounds to difference, it's still possible, but the Americans uh, shouldn't be giving away any rounds, any further rounds, I should say. And it seems like they're listening to me. Good job, only Ake remaining, four Americans. And a good job here, 15 to 14, one round to difference. Come back of the century. Oh, great movement by Tarquin, it was kind of a 
Couldn't secure that second kill though. Oh, and misses its third shot as well. Going to uh, support Ryan in his retreat, but stuck around a little bit too long and that cost him and Ryan his life. So two rounds the difference now. Once more, the Americans haven't led for a single second in this map, or actually in this match. And a good aggressive push. And even better supporting uh, fire, countering the counter of the Belgians. And, it, ooh. and he spotted a Belgian there up uh, up on the <laughs> the door. They have the man advantage now. Can they make use of it? No, only Locati remaining, and they can hear him. Did that explosion maybe cover his steps? That's interesting, isn't it? That that could actually just simply have covered his steps so that uh, Asel wasn't aware. Wow. I've never thought of that, but that's really smart. Or never thought of it or never saw it, but... Once more, one minute remaining, one round the difference here. And it's the Belgians that get the opening kill on Tarquin, the top fragger. Moscow Jones shooting gorillas through the mist. But a Belgian rush here, countering... Oh, that's unfortunate. Flawless victory there. Oh, you need to be pushing harder, Americans, seriously. Oh, well, Tarquin is the last one standing. So we'll have one more round, GG being called. And uh, it was a good game at that. Fantastic first, uh, or second uh, second map. The first one was a little bit uh, of a meh. <laughs> Abby really convincing win for the Belgians. Um, and a really convincing start here by the Belgians as well on Austria. Uh, but unfortunately, the Americans, well, fortunately, the Americans could make it a, a close map, but they uh, they didn't get back into it. GG, congratulations, Belgium. You are through to the semi-finals, and that means that they will face off against La France. So, will it be uh, one French-speaking country or a French... Dutch speaking country <laughs> who will uh, end up in the grand finals. I think it's going to be a great match to be honest. Belgium versus France. Um, I don't know if they have any uh, previous matches against each other, but I'll, I'll just have a quick uh, quick peek while we're uh, cleaning up uh, these, uh, this stream. Um, once more, if for the ones uh, watching this on YouTube, I'm really curious what your uh, opinion would be uh, regarding the extra additional point with a flawless victory in Team Survivor. Would it, would you like to see it in competitive play or not? In, uh, in the meantime, I've been looking uh, if there is a previous match played between France and Belgium, and uh, there has actually been one in 2016, so three years ago. Um, and it was a flawless victory for France. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, for now, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Sorry for the, um, well, that, that it couldn't be streamed live. That would have been uh, great as well. And uh, please uh, contact NSTAR for the demo. Uh, yeah, that would be, uh, that would be great. Um, did I have something to promote? Yes, I still did. And uh, let's see. Did I still have that in? Yeah, I still have it. So once more, uh, quickly going to switch back to the game. Uh, Discord.gg slash ET capital letters GHQU5. Discord.gg slash ET capital H, cap, uh, cap, sorry, capital G, capital H, QU5. That's where you can find 
pickup games. A uh, great way to uh, to get into match urban terror play without all of the obligations of a clan or whatever. Um, thanks for watching everybody and uh, I'll hope and try to shoutcast as much of the semi-finals live as possible. Um, good night and uh, see you soon.